Okay, Elena, welcome and thank you for coming to talk to us thank today. Thank you for the your, invitation. Your network convener of the Histories of Education. Yes. What's the main idea which brings people to your network? I think it's the first of all to have um, the possibility to change ideas um, of the research each one is doing in uh, his work or her work, but uh, also to give something to society. We think that history is not uh, about only about the past, but is about the past to understand the present and the future, and sometimes to um, to analyze the the present, knowing what gave. Um, room to, the, to that, so I think it's interesting because of that too. Uh, and what, what's the kind of topics, which, what's your coming up this year, what topics have you got coming oh, This year we are celebrating our uh, 20th anniversary, mm -hmm. so it's a very important conference for us and we are um, engaged with a, a, a project which is a, a network project with about uh, time and um, how can I say it, the room that uh, time has in um, research. So we don't look at time usually, but time is really important in our discussion. So, and this is a, uh, an important topic for us, not only time, but the overlooked um, um, aspects of educational uh, spaces. Uh, and uh, educational research. We don't look um, many times to, to the space, to the buildings, for instance, and that, that is a really important topic for us. The classroom uh, and uh, the silences of the classroom, which was um, the title of one of the publications of the researchers, in, some researchers in, in, from the network. Um, or um, the senses, the taste, the smells, <laughs> and uh, the sounds, which are really important in making schooling, for instance, but education in general way. Uh, and then how would you see that your network contributes to European educational research? Uh, the kind of sources we use, because um, our network, uh, and that's something that is in the, in the root of changing history, the title History of Education to Histories of Education. Um, sometimes we talk about stories of education, which is mm -hmm. a little bit different. But uh, we uh, use to, um, to underline, to pr promote the use of different sources from different from traditional sources. And, and how does that link up then with ERA? You know, the European Educational Research Association has this mission statement where it sees itself. How do you link to that? Um, I think we can link it in two ways. The first one is uh, quite direct. Uh, we are trying to give something good to society to, 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 to be improved, to get improved. Uh, but the other, the, other, um, the other way to see it is that um, ERA has a lot of networks and uh, we know that we are not alone and uh, we want to bring histories of education as different points of view or different ways of seeing the same things. Uh, so we uh, all also um, cross our ideas with our other networks. For instance, we work with Network 20 in a uh, joint project uh, in the last uh, three or four years. And um, we usually are invited to collaborate with other networks and also invite other networks co to cooperate with us. So that would be how you see your network as being unique in that yes. way, yes? Yes, yes, that's, that's one of the, the points, yes. Thinking back then over the last couple of years, the, well, you've been coming to this network for a long time. Yes. What's something that you're really proud of which the network has done? Oh, I'm proud of our relationship, the relationship um, between the researchers, 
is really a warm and welcoming. So I think that we are not a, a big network. We have an average of uh, 44 to 47 participants, but we have a um, um, permanent group that, uh, that is about uh, 15 people to 20 people that come together for a long time and change one over or another, but always uh, welcoming new researchers. Um, and this is a particular point for us that we are really uh, engaged in bringing uh, to the network new scholars. So we also uh, always have new scholars, uh, new researchers, uh, researchers doing their PhD projects. So it's uh, one of the points I, I'm proud of. <laughs> and besides the, obviously your relationship with other networks yeah. within ECR, do you have any uh, contacts or work with external organizations, with other organizations? Yes, we have uh, uh, um, good uh, work with ISHA, which is an uh, international standing for uh, history of education. And um, I think the, the editor words of uh, some journals where some of us are engaged to. So. Now, if you think about you get proposals in to come to this conference. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for in a proposal? What do you think is a good proposal for your uh, network? We are looking for uh, peculiar ways of seeing history. Yes, um, new methodologies. Uh, that's a, a, a huge ambition <laughs> that we have. We look for new methodologies with um, that we can um, stand and say, okay, this is a new way to see and we are going to discuss this and to help the researcher and also make us improve our work with a different way of uh, doing research. And here's a personal question, I think, yeah, for you. Okay. What do you like about ECR? I, a lot. <laughs> yes, I really like the relation, uh, relationships and uh, the possibility of really even chatting in the, in the, in, how do you say it? Coffee breaks. Okay, yeah. thank you for the word, yeah. the coffee breaks. Yeah. I think that's very, very important, not only within the network, but with other people. Um, and what does the conference mean for your network then? Uh, we have one of our uniqueness is that uh, we usually have a group of people that come and stay with us during the conference. Okay, and then my very last question, I promise. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us today? Oh, I would like to say perhaps that uh, I, I would like to continue engaging in this conference and. Uh, having new opportunities to, to get new researchers and to welcome new researchers. I think that's very important. Thank you, Elena, for coming and talking to us today. Okay, thank you for, for inviting.